Today we're going to be looking at inequalities in triangles. We're going to talk about the comparison property of inequality, a corollary to the triangle exterior angle theorem, the hinge theorem as well as its converse, the triangle inequality theorem, and then we're going to look at a proof concerning the sides and angles of a triangle. You want to share a drink with a friend, so you get two cups and pour some juice into each. Some for you, and some for your friend. It's hard to tell exactly how much juice is in each cup, but there is one thing we can tell. Whatever's in the cup is less than what started out in the bottle. So if we started off with 13 fluid ounces in the bottle. We poured some into two different cups. You can know for a fact that whatever is here in cup B is less than the 13 ounces we started with. Whatever's in cup C is also less than the 13 ounces that we started off with. Pretty straightforward, right? Remember that math is supposed to be logical. We're just putting into words what you already know. So this leads us to the comparison property of inequality. So, the comparison property of inequality states, if A equals B plus C, and C is greater than zero, then A is greater than B. Putting it into words with the example we have, if a container of juice is split between two glasses, even if you're sharing just a swallow of juice with your friend, as long as there's something in C, it's greater than zero, then B is going to be less than what the original amount was in A. And that gives us the comparison property of inequality. We can use this comparison property of inequality to make a corollary to the triangle exterior angle theorem. Recall that a corollary is a statement that follows directly from a theorem and is a theorem itself. Also think back to the triangle exterior angle theorem. That theorem stated that the exterior angle of a triangle is going to equal the sum of the two remote interior angles. Well, the corollary to that states that the measure of the exterior angle of a triangle is greater than the measures of each of its remote interior angles. So just like the original container of juice has more than each cup, the exterior angle of a triangle is larger than each of the remote interior angles. Opening a door is something that you do every day many times a day. When you're doing so, you're actually applying a geometric principle. When you open the door, you are creating an angle between the doorway and the door. The larger the angle, the wider the door is open. And so if I open the door just a small way, there's a very small angle between the door and the doorway. The larger the angle, the larger the opening. This gives us a theorem that's called the hinge theorem.
The hinge theorem tells us that if two sides of one triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle, so here I have the doorway and the door are both congruent on both the top and the bottom pieces of this door, and if the included angle of the first triangle, here the top door, is larger than the included angle of the second, here the bottom door, then the third side of the first, the opening of the top door, is going to be longer than the third side of the second, so here the bottom. The converse of this is also going to be true, that the longer the third side, the larger the angle. Now that we have some pieces of wood cut and labeled with their lengths, we're going to talk a little bit about the sides of a triangle, what will work and what won't. So if I have three lengths, this one's 10, and let's say 8 and 6, I can use these three pieces to build a triangle. And you can see that this triangle works. And there's a property going on with the lengths of these sides. The principle is that the sum of two sides always has to be greater than the measure of the third. So here I have 6 and 8, well that's greater than 10. 8 and 10 is greater than 6. 10 and 6 is greater than 18. So these three sizes, 6, 8, and 10, are going to work for a triangle. But let's say instead I use sides 4, 5, and 11. Now just looking at these sides, 4, 5, and 11, you can see that 4 plus 5 is not greater than 11. So this triangle, when we attempt to build it, is not going to work. No matter how small we make the angles, they're never going to meet. In this case, the sum of these two, 4 and 5, are not larger than the measure of 11. So you can always look at the lengths of the side of the triangle to figure out if the triangle is going to work. There is another principle that we can look at with triangles and the sides. So here I have 6, 9, and 11. If we look at the sides, 6 plus 9 is greater than 11. 9 plus 11 is greater than 6, 11 plus 6 is greater than 9, so this triangle is going to work. But thinking back to the hinge theorem that we talked about earlier, we can apply that same principle within the triangle. And that property is going to tell us that the largest angle is going to be opposite the longest side. So in this case, I have a side of 11, the largest angle is going to be opposite the side of 11, so right here is going to be my largest angle. The smallest side is down here at 6, so the smallest angle is going to be this one up here, opposite the side of 6. All right, so there you go. We had the comparison property of inequality, showing that if a equals b plus c, and c is greater than zero, then a is greater than b. We talked about the corollary to the triangle exterior angle theorem, that the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle will be greater than each of the remote interior angles. We had the hinge theorem and its converse, we talked about the triangle inequality theorem. Remember that two sides of a triangle always have to total more than the third side. And then we talked about a proof concerning the sides and angles of a triangle. The larger the angle, the longer the side.